So Wix is free. I mean, it's totally free, 100% free at least. Uh, it has always been free and still free. I don't know about the future, but it's free. You can buy a domain. Uh, if you want to make your, your if, if, if you want to have your kind of a online identity uh, related to you, you can create uh, your own domain. I mean, Wix offer you how to buy your own domain. The best of all, the domain doesn't belong to Wix, which means that you can use the same domain to use in another website as long as the website accepts the domain. So the domain will be attached to Wix, but Wix does not own your domain. The domain is yours. So that's the one that I think about when you buy a domain in Wix, because you, you can attach the domain to any website. You can as well bring domain from another website. You already have your domain, you bought a domain somewhere, you can make the, uh, you can bring the domain to Wix. I think that's a very, that's a very nice, a very nice option. So you can buy plans accordingly. I mean, sometimes they plan cheap, sometimes they, I think one drawback of Wix is that the plan can be expensive sometimes. Sometimes they make low price, sometimes they be, be expensive. But the, the nice point that uh, I think is, is for you that are not, you don't know how to code anyone to make a kind of a professional business, even though you can pay a lot on Wix compared to other options, it's a very complete and I would say troubleless. Uh, I didn't have any trouble with, with Wix. I think they're very professional. Um, I think the price is worth it if you don't know how to code. If you have other options, if you are a programmer, which I, I don't expect you to follow this course, you may have other options, such as you create your, your own website from scratch. But I don't think that's the case of someone that the, the kind of person that I hope to use this to be part of this course, I don't think that they will be uh, expertise, they don't have expertise in programming, so I don't think that will be the case. But you can buy a plan uh, according to the level uh, that you want to use. Uh, the free website is fully functional, so you don't have to buy a domain, you don't have to buy a plan. You can use your website as much as you want for free. But if you want to go upper, let's say on the level of complexity of your website, you want to uh, build uh, your online mark, for example, you want to show Google Ads. You cannot show Google Ads on a free website, but if you want to, if you want to have a Google Ads, you need to buy a domain. Also, your free website, you have a kind of a uh, watermark, so they know you beat your, your, your website in Wix. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you, if you want to make sure that no one knows you are built on Wix. I have your reason for that. So you can create a site in less than one hour. That's one thing that the, the site is, is full of functional. They have like a members domain. They have like a, uh, a blog, a, sig, a blog plans. So you can even make some money on Wix if you want. It's not that easy, I must say, but it's possible. I mean, that's one option. So how Wix, I mean, how I like to separate complexity of Wix. I think the, or, 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 what we are going to curve the cost, at least on the first part, is the base. It's the basic of the basic. I think anyone can create a, a website following the approach here. I mean, at least anyone that knows the basic, that has a kind of flex, has a kind of ability to work with uh, to work with uh, to work with uh, browser. Because I don't like to say anyone, because the level of difficulty everyone has. A little bit specific. So if I say anyone, I mean, some maybe someone doesn't make find it easy. I mean, I'm I'm being by I am being biased when I say anyone. But I think most of the people will be able to to, to use the base you are going to teach on on a kind of intermediate step that you are going to sort to cover on this course. Uh, you actually know how to make some kind of tricks such as you can add a blog to your website, the kind of intermediate. You can add some you can add some kind of application that make a specific function on your website, such as a wiki store. Uh, on the advanced topic, which you are going to cover here as well on the last part of the course, I'm going to show you how to build a very basic JavaScript uh, on your Wix. You are actually learn how to make code in JavaScript, but within Wix. I don't see that it's advanced programming. I mean, it's like he, I mean, but still advanced if you compare to the, to, to the, I mean, the public which I expect to follow this course. But as a as a programmer, you are still very limited. But it's already somehow advanced, I would say.